The holidays are here, we need gifting ideas, 10 designer fragrances that are perfect for gifting. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys, my name is Neeb, welcome back to Aromatics, and hello from French Fry with this cute little reindeer hoodie that he loves so much. <laughs> We're gonna change his name to French Fry the Reindeer. He's probably really not liking this. All right, baby. Okay, you can go. So me and Fry were just hanging out and we decided that, you know what? We need to check out a couple of fragrances that are good for gifting, but designer. Not everybody likes Middle Eastern cheapies, I get it. So today we're gonna be talking about 10 designer fragrances that are perfect for gifting. The reason I put this in this list is because a couple of them are really hard to dislike. And a lot of people in the masses usually like this. They're compliment getters, they're long lasting, they just smell good. One of the first fragrances that I'm gonna recommend on this list is a fragrance that many men, if not every man should have in his arsenal. This has spawned many other flankers and many other clones or imitations or inspired buys. It's a signature DNA and this one in specific is going to be the longest lasting one. Blue de Chanel, the Eau de Parfum. They have a couple of different flankers, different versions, Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum. This is going to be the best one for gifting. There is another flanker, the Parfum, which is spoken highly of and I agree with the, you know, the praises of it. It's a great fragrance. This entire DNA is really one that is almost impossible to dupe or imitate. There are a lot of different imitations or copycats or you know inspired by but none of them truly grasp the actual essence of Blue de Chanel. It's just on a whole nother level. And I genuinely believe it to be because of the fact that the oils and the qualities and their fixatives or proprietary blends for Chanel is very unique to themselves. So for me personally, the first one I would say to recommend is gonna be the Eau de Parfum. This one's gonna be bracketed in an age group that's amongst like 16 to about 30 years old. Reason being is because the Parfum which is also another one that I'm going to recommend is going to be more targeted for the slightly older crowd. And the reason I say that is because the Parfum has a bit more of this ISO E Super, less citruses, but it's still definitely there. It's pretty much the same fragrance or close enough that you don't really need both. But I will say they are a little bit different vibes. So this one is still pretty mass appealing, extremely mass appealing, and honestly timeless and ageless. Even above that 25 to 30 mark, you can rock this up way up into your 50s. Honestly, it's timeless. It's classic, it's clean, it's fresh, it smells like you just hopped out the shower. But the second one I'm gonna recommend, it's gonna make a little bit more sense when we start talking about, is gonna be the Blue de Chanel Parfum version. I would recommend this for gentlemen who are like 27 and up, maybe 30 and above. It's for those gentlemen who find this one to be a little bit too much mass appeal. I want just a touch of more interesting factors or dryness, less citruses, but in its backbone, the DNA itself, it's pretty dang close. Drier woods, more diffusive, less citruses, less fresh if you will and a bit more woodsy. So it basically takes that shower gel DNA, adds more of a backbone of woodsiness, which does mature up the entire DNA. Both of these are extremely mass appealing. And despite the fact that the Parfum does last longer than the Eau de Parfum because of the concentration differences, which it's not always the case, but in this case it is, this one does not project off of my skin or off clothing, not nearly as much as the Eau de Parfum. So while both of these are great, this is going to be more for the 30 and up. If you're a bit more reserved, you know you're going into the office, you don't want to be too loud with your fragrances. You're a certain type of professional where you know you want your scents and scent profile to be a bit more reserved. The Parfum is going to be great for exactly that. So gentlemen like 30 and above where you have to actually go places, meetings, and etc. This is going to be a good one. And the Eau de Parfum is going to be more diffusive. It's going to project a lot more. You're going to be heard. It's louder. It does project a lot better than the Parfum version. Scent profile wise for me, I have to say that I enjoy the Parfum more. Scent profile for the masses, I believe the Eau de Parfum is going to be the better pick here. To make this easy, if you're gifting somebody that's 27 and above, I would say go with the Parfum. If you're gifting somebody 27 or below, go with the Eau de Parfum. And if that doesn't answer your question on which one you should get, the main difference between this and this, citruses, shower gels, fresh and noticeable performance, citruses, shower gel, and woody, and not as noticeable, but definitely there. So that's gonna be the basics as to which one I would recommend to each audience or each crowd. Both of these are great options to pick. This one, however, does have more of a freshness at the top. And for me personally, I think this one's gonna be the winner in terms of the masses. Next fragrance I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy, and it was a very well-received fragrance at the time of its release. It's gonna be Armani Code Profumo. This one is all about the tonka and the leather, but in an every mass appealing way. I've gotten so
so many compliments while wearing this fragrance and the first time I smelled this, I was absolutely in love. It is a leather-based fragrance, so I think it's gonna be 18 and above, maybe even 20 and above, but super sexy stuff, man. This smells like a bad boy in his leather coat. I personally don't even wear leather coats, but I don't know what it was about this. The mandarin orange, the leather, the vanilla, or the tonka bean makes this one so sexy, so sweet and leather. I have a pretty serious sweet tooth. This one honestly satisfied that sweet tooth despite being a leather-based fragrance. Sweet tooth, sexy, mysterious, bold, long-lasting, 10 plus hours performance on this one. If your spouse or your loved one or whoever you're trying to gift likes leather fragrances, sweet, seductive, they're gonna love this one. Super easy, mass appealing fragrance. I think this one's a fantastic release from the Armani Code series. Next one I would recommend or even personally buy as a gift myself is Dior Homme, the original. This fragrance is extremely easy, very mass appealing, smells fresh, woody, clean, and it's that easy, man. You buy this for somebody, there's no way they're gonna dislike this fragrance. It just smells like citruses and wood. Woods. Very inoffensive, extremely refined, and it just lasts for a good six to seven hours. That's all you need. If you're going about your day, you just want to freshen up, that's exactly what this type of fragrance is. Despite the fact that it's pretty easy, simplistic, and all of that, it is pretty elegant in its scent profile. It smells better than just a fragrance that you're going to freshen up with, that's for sure. The composition of this fragrance is going to include something of citrus at the top, some benzoins, which are resins, and also that iso -E super. And because of that, I would recommend this one for 25 and above. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for anybody that's younger than 25 because those resins does offer this one a little bit more of a maturity to it. The resins contributes this balsamic feel which does go a little bit acidic but it's very nicely balanced with some of those woods and those citruses at the top. A very mass appealing and masculine fresh woods fragrance. A great gifting option for 25 and above. This wouldn't be a gifting designer list if I didn't include this fragrance. It's extremely mass appealing. It's gotten myself numerous compliments and it's very well accepted and loved because of how good it is. This one's all about the aromatics, super Super sweet, playful, flirty, shower gel. It smells like you hopped right out of the shower. YSL Y E D P. Not the Le Parfum, not the other new one that came out, the Parfum Intense or whatever it is, the Eau de Parfum. This is by far the best flanker in my opinion. It has the perfect balance of sweetness and shower gel and aromatics. It's got almost this crunchy sugar quality to it along with some of this aromatic sage and super mass appealing scent profile. This is one that'll get you compliments easily. There is not a single person I know that dislikes this fragrance. There are a couple of people that I know that find this one to be a little bit more basic but if you're gifting somebody who's not that crazy into fragrances or that is into fragrances, just not as crazy as some of us are, then this will be extremely well accepted because of the fact that it smells, it just smells so damn good, man. Such a no-brainer gifting option. If you don't know which one to go with, this is the best of all worlds. It performs, it lasts long, whether it's winter, whether it's summer, you can wear it all year round. Slightly sweet, extremely fresh, and very nicely aromatic. Has this beautiful sugar crunchy quality. For whatever reason, I personally picture those uh, sugar candies on a stick when I smell this. That's what I remember when I smell this bad boy right here. Specifically a blue one. It's got this blue vibe, shower gel, super clean, super fresh, and they'll impress everybody. So if they're going on a date even and they're trying to impress their little lady or their girl, this is an awesome fragrance to gift. Next fragrance is Sirius. This is a serious fragrance because it's super sexy, super alluring, cardamom, I mean, this one's like, you're going to, you're going, man, yeah, this one's going to seal the deal. And I'm not talking about the business deals. I'm talking about with your lady. This is YSL La Nuit de Lome. One of the staples in the fragrance community. It's so freaking sexy. This one rides off of the original DNA of YSL Lome, which is this ginger, citruses, some peppers. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. But this one takes it, adds more oriental vibes, Middle Eastern cardamom spices, some woodsy nuances, and it packs it into this bottle right here. So damn sexy. And even in the newer formulation guys I have to admit that it does give me six hours so it's not the worst in the world but it definitely does not perform as well as it once did if you want to get good performance just spray this one at least 10 times otherwise the scent profile my god this is so sexy next recommendation is gonna be for the people that enjoy similar fragrances to the one that I just mentioned the whole oriental vibe sexy seductive and really all of these, it comes with a Middle Eastern influence. The whole oriental spices, the vanilla, the cardamom. This one does something relatively similar and a lot of people really like this fragrance. And it's Le Mal Le Parfum. Le Mal Le Parfum takes the original DNA, adds a bit more oriental facets, the vanilla, the cardamom, and some of that iris, smoothens it out, makes it a little bit more grown up, and it packs it into this bottle right here, the black bottle. The other bottle that a lot of people know of is called Ultramol. With Ultramol, this is like its little brother. It's on a 
unapologetically loud, whereas this is more reserved and refined. This one's got cardamom, and this one really focuses a lot on the pear and something very, very sweet like cotton candy vibes. Serious, flirty, and seductive, playful, flirty, and just, yeah, wild. Honestly, either one of these would be great for gifting options, but really, if any one of the descriptors suits your partner or your spouse or whoever you're gifting, that's the one I would go with. Serious vibes is gonna be Le Molle Parfum, and playful and flirty is gonna be Ultra Mall. This list wouldn't be honest if I didn't recommend this fragrance, despite the fact that it's been to hell and back in the community. A lot of people already know about this fragrance, but that's a good thing. It's because of the fact that it's very successful in its DNA. It smells fantastic. There isn't a single occasion where I don't think this fragrance would work. It works all year round, lasts a hell of a long time. We're talking about Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. The parfum is a little bit different. This one still maintains the freshness, the citruses, the peppers. And to be honest with you guys, it keeps it in that whole youthful or ageless territory. The parfum is super sexy. It does last longer, but similar case to the whole Chanel, Blue Day Chanel vibes, that's exactly what happens with this DNA. The parfum is not gonna project nearly as much, and for that reason, I'm gonna recommend the Eau de Parfum over the parfum concentration. The same thing applies though, if you are a gentleman that's a little bit older and you wanna be more reserved, go with the parfum. It does have a little bit more of a sophistication to it, but the Eau de Parfum is gonna please the masses. It's peppers, it's ambroxan bomb, it's super sexy, and a lot more citruses at the top than the parfum version. This wouldn't be a list of gifting options without including Sauvage because Sauvage is just, it's, it's the goat, it really is. Sauvage is an amazing fragrance. Whether I like to admit it or not, this is an excellent fragrance. Next one is another Sweet Tooth Lovers. This one's for the ones that love that sweet, spicy, sexy, seductive vibe as well. This is one million and this is, in my opinion, the best flanker, it's the Elixir. Very sexy, I mean, when I wear this, I just feel like I'm a snack, straight up. It smells that good. This is one of the best fragrances that I own from Paco Rabanne. The next recommendation is gonna be another one that I own from Paco Rabanne as well, but this one. This is the go-to right here. Super sexy, amber woods, vanillic vibes, and it's got some woods, a touch of rose in the mid. Sexy, sweet, elegant, very good. A lot of sexies in this list, man. What the hell? If I wasn't saying sexy this much, it wouldn't be an honest list of recommendations. So yeah, this is another sexy one. Last sexy one, I promise it's the last sexy fragrance. My God, this should be just called a sexy. Look. If I was gifted one of these fragrances, I would legitimately be happy. And that's why I picked all of these fragrances. I personally like that sexy, sweet vibe. There are a couple here on the list that aren't really sweet, like the Sauvage EDP and like the Dior Homme. Well, no, the YSL is pretty sweet, but they are all very mass appealing fragrances. I personally tend to reach for those types of fragrances, but all are different enough that even if you were to gift one of each of these fragrances, it would be a pretty different uh, spectrum of fragrances for sure. Next one on the list is gonna be Invictus Vic Victory Elixir. This is the newest addition to my collection from Paco Rabanne. I really wanted to recommend Invictus Legend, but because of availability and scarcity, if I do find it, I'll link it down below because it's a great fragrance. But I wanted to at least be able to offer one of the Invictus lineups. And personally, I think that Invictus Victory Elixir fits the whole sexy vibe. And especially since we're in the winter time, this is a great fragrance. It's all about the vanilla. It's got some amber woods, relatively simple, but it's much better than the last flanker that we had, the original Invictus victory. So there are two Invictuses that have the V. There's an all black one and then there's the one that has this uh, gradient, the ombre gradient. This is the elixir. Much sexier. It just takes the original DNA, adds some earthy nuances and maybe some ambers to it. Super sexy stuff. The other one that I wanted to mention is going to be Invictus Legend. A no-brainer when it comes to gifting options. Very aquatic, very fresh and super long lasting. This one gives me at least 10 hours. It's a shame if they discontinued it but nevertheless I'll do my best to find it and source it down in the description. So marine, blue, aquatic, very fresh, very clean, with a touch, actually a little bit more than a touch, of this aromatic bay leaf in the mid that really sets this one aside. This has gotten me numerous compliments and I think that this would also be a fantastic gifting option. And you know what, since it's sitting here and I'm looking at it, this is also another fantastic gifting option as well. This is for those that are a little bit more elegant, they go to school, they like going to the library, they just wanna smell fresh and clean and they don't wanna offend anybody. They wanna smell like they basically just just wash their clothes, but with the most finest fabric softeners. This is gonna be Prada Loam, the original. Prada Loam is exactly that. It's a elegant, a high-end luxury, it smells like money in fabric softener realms. Iris-based fragrance with some freshness. It just smells so soft, so inviting, so clean and refreshing, a no-brainer. And as far as the age groups go, I would recommend this for 18 and above. It's fresh, it's clean, it's a very inviting scent and extremely inoffensive. A fantastic gifting option. There you have it. These are fragrances that I would personally 
personally gift to a loved one or family friend myself. If you enjoyed watching this video or if it was helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next one, peace.